Hi everyone, thanks for checking out Zanduco. And uh, today, with the new brushless motor blender, we're gonna be making the smoothie. Ah. And uh, today, I'm gonna show you a, it's gonna be a simple recipe for a green smoothie. They're all the rage. I had one this morning. It was great. Let's get started. So you probably plug this in. Take two. So what sets apart this guy from um, most other blenders would be the, uh, the new motor. So this has a brushless motor as opposed to a brushed motor. Now a brushed motor uh, would have the, uh, the circular motion of the motor spinning, of course, and on each end there would be a conductor and then on the outside of the ring there would be a conductor as well. So every time it would pass it would, it would conduct some electricity and spin, 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 spin. So the brushes break down over time, and then you ultimately have to replace it. So now a brushless motor has no actual contact, and it uses uh, the positives and negatives of magnets, uh, almost like a pulse, to spin that ring around and around and around. Also with that design, you're gonna get more torque per watt than a brushed motor. So that's what's gonna give us this power, and that's what's gonna give us um, some longevity. Let's get started. <clears throat> water, then we add some kale, let's make sure we get our nutrients. So what you want to do is pulse the greens first. So this blender comes with a safety feature, if the jar is off, it won't work. Jar is on, and you're in business. Pulse. Now that our kale is blended, let's add the rest of our stuff. Let's start with a mango. I've never cut a mango before. Let's treat it like, let's treat it like an apple. whole chunks in there. How about some bananas? Whole banana in. Let's give this a nice twist. Let's use, let's use a hefty amount. There we go. Zin, zin, zin. So as you can see, we have everything inside. And now we're ready to put our lid on, make sure that the lock is on, otherwise uh, the machine won't even, won't even register, it won't even work. So here we go. And here it comes on. And now we're going to use the smoothie button. So we got the smoothie button on, I hit the start button. And there it goes. on its own. Oh, still going, a little bit more. And we're done. I guess I have to tell you what it tastes like. But I'll be honest, I promise. Very consistent. Go for a pour. Mmm, it smells good. Can't even taste the kale. And you clearly saw how easy it was. I <laughs> pressed one button. It managed it by itself. I barely had to cut anything. <laughs> like, kind of speaks for itself, don't you think? I'm gonna enjoy my smoothie, so if you wanna check out our uh, upcoming videos, we're gonna be also making ice cream and uh, some hot soup, so stay tuned, guys. 